Hi everyone, in this Magnus Billing video we are going to discuss how to authenticate users by IP. For example, if we have a client who is a company with a server and a public IP and they want to authenticate off their IP instead of a username and password, Let's test this user, Magnus Test. We can see right now it's authenticated by username and password. You can see this here, the username and the password. This indicates username and password authentication. So let's remove the password and the caller ID. In the host field, we will replace dynamic with the client's IP address. Now let's go to the additional tab. The insecure field needs to be changed from no to invite. These are how the settings should look. The username should be the same, the password and color ID field should be removed, and the host field should have the client's IP address. Insecure should be set to invite. Now save your changes. This user will now be able to authenticate by IP. Let's say that we want the username and password authentication in addition to IP authentication. To do this, we make a new VUIP account for this same user with a username and password and leave the other with IP authentication. Clients will then be able to log in from both methods. Here we will simply create a new VUIP account. We will set the new username, we will set the new password, and then we will click Save. Remember to never leave the username field blank even if the authentication is by IP. Now that we have both of these VIP users created for the same account, users will be able to log in and authenticate both by their IP address and the username and the password. The only IP address that will be able to log in and authenticate by IP address is the one listed here. Make sure that you have the proper client IP address listed, otherwise they will have issues logging in. That will conclude this video. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel. This video has been sponsored by Synopse Global, www.synopseglobal.com.